Praise the Lord, precious saints. And today I would like to do a deliverance prayer from Hinduism and all the effects of that on your generational line. That's right. Yes, today I would like to discuss the danger of worshipping of idols and participating in rituals within Hinduism or what many Westerners would call today or describe as Eastern religions. See, now currently Hinduism is the third largest religion in the world. And Hinduism can be traced back to ancient India, seers who transmitted to their followers their ideas about ultimate truth. The earliest Hindu writings date from roughly uh, 1500 BC. And there are actually a variety of sacred writings, such as the Vedas and the uh, Ampashads. Uh, See, the Code of uh, Manu set down many precepts for life, including the caste system, which is a social structure based on birth and wealth, from anything from the priesthood all the way down to the untouchables and as i've traveled from the width of the whole of india from coast to coast as i've driven across it and ministered and seen the idol worship i've seen what takes place there i've seen all the uh the different things that people are willing to do to try to appease these gods and in actual fact in hinduism they worship trillions of different gods because of their belief also of reincarnation with so much of a variety jesus is also added on their list and in many cases we can see that hindus are even open to receiving prayer and in most cases when it's done in private but if caught being baptized you can clearly see that there is a persecution that will come to that person by their family members that will even desert them or even harm them so as i said i've traveled uh, throughout india on many particular mission trips um, and taking a lot of time to minister to the people to cast out many 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 different demons that have come as a result so we can see that many of the people there are in need of the truth see currently 82 percent of india's population are these professing hindus the religion is so tied to the heritage of india that the idea of worshiping only one god like in christianity is actually offensive to them not only is it offensive but they just can't understand how we could just worship one when they have so many to choose from so hinduism is a different uh, difficult religion for uh, western christians to uh, classify because we can see there's a kaleidoscope of gods there is no central creed or founder and no universal text on which the faith is based instead it is a religion of relativism uh, where few hindus worship the same way this actually appeals to also many westerners today that are seeking other alternative forms of spirituality in actual fact this will explain why more than one million in america practice some form of religion stateside within this place of different types see westernized hinduism is often a philosophy philosophy more so it may include the practices such as meditation yoga and rituals and so forth and that's why so many people you know we've got prayers there on the effects of uh, yoga we've got prayers there of the effects of the kundalini spirit we've got prayers there for many things but how do these how do these spirits survive how do they survive well according to the scripture it says to us about worshipping idols in Deuteronomy 32 verse 16 we see that God is speaking to his people in particular about all the pagan gods that were worshipped around Israel 
And it said, they stirred him to jealousy with strange gods, with abominations that provoke him to anger. They sacrificed to demons that were no gods, to gods they had never known, to new gods that had come recently, whom your father had never dreaded. See, this passage in Deuteronomy associates pagan gods with demons and warns God's people not to be involved with idolatry. And we also see it in Leviticus 17 verse 7. It adds another important connection. Uh, They shall no more offer their sacrifices to demons after whom they have uh, have played the harlot. So here, these demons, which is in this case is a goat demon, which is like the Baphomet, are other gods worshipped by the surrounding culture. Again, demons are equated with pagan gods in this particular passage. So it is no coincidence that demonic activity is associated with religions that embrace a multitude of gods and goddesses. And there's also a connection with idols, meaning behind those idols that people worship, is their demons can hide and take place there because it's a place, it's a point of contact for them to receive that worship. See, A desire to have supernatural contact with the spiritual world often focuses people on supernatural power apart from the power of God offers through the relationship with Jesus Christ and his Holy Spirit. So every other point of entry into the spiritual realm is illegal. The only legal entry is through the blood of Jesus Christ. Otherwise, you are opening yourself up to demon oppression or demon possession. So a desire to have this supernatural contact, many people are seeking. That's why many Westerners will do all sorts of things to have a closer encounter with the spirits that these religions offer. So the devil desires to be worshipped. As we can see, according to Matthew chapter 4, we see that when Jesus was taken into the desert, we know that he wanted to be worshipped. See, and demons, they teach false doctrine in order to deceive. As according to 1 Timothy 4, 1, we're not just talking about Christianity here, but we can see that this new age teaching has also come into the church. We see some of the terminology that I'm hearing of late which is talking about the light and being enlightened and all these weird things that people are talking about today is of a grave concern precious saints and we need to understand that the word of god is sufficient for us so those who worship false gods are willingly or wittingly or unwittingly pledging their allegiance to evil spirits who desire to Upsurp God's rightful place within our hearts. So to the Christian, an idol is nothing, meaning it becomes powerless when we walk in the finished work of the cross. That is, demons and their uh, deceit have no true power over us when we expose them and we walk in that authority. Any power they wield pales in comparison with the power of Christ that is working within us. So greater is he that lives in us than he that lives within the world. But maybe, maybe you have participated of some type of ritual. Maybe your forefathers have participated of some type of rituals. You don't just have to be of Indian descent. Remember, Hinduism is practiced in many parts of the world, including in parts of Africa where many people have gone or or parts of the Caribbean. It is everywhere. Wherever you go now today, you'll see Hindu temples and you'll you'll see Eastern religion. You'll see the New Age influence that has gone over and you know we're seeing it even in the church people talking about vibrations and all these type of terminology that all comes from new age teaching so if that has affected us i'm going to do this prayer now but i believe that god's 
you know, protection is always with us. Now, according to James 4, 7, it says, uh, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Uh, As you draw near to God, he will draw near to you. So I'm going to pray this prayer and I'm going to believe because the, the word of God says, according to Isaiah 54, verse 17, no weapons formed against you shall prosper. And any tongue that rises against us in judgment, we should condemn. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is from me. So allow the blood of Jesus to cover you as I declare these prayers on all everyone's behalf that is listening that you may cut off that we may receive that deliverance whatever that issue is maybe your ancestry maybe there's certain things that you have participated on and it's bringing a hindrance a blockage to your breakthrough then these prayers will get to the root of that cause in that case if this is related to you then i encourage you to hear this prayer heavenly father in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ we come before your throne of grace today through the precious blood of your son jesus christ and we thank you for your mercy and grace you say in your word that you are the lord and that is your name and you will not give your glory to another. You also say that those who trust in carved or formed images shall be greatly ashamed. You say that the nations serving their carved images and foreign idols are provoking you to anger, O Lord, according to Jeremiah 8.19. You are the Lord, and there is no God beside you. You have made the earth and created man on it. Your hands stretch out the heavens and you commanded all their host. Surely you are God and there is no other God and there is no other God besides you. You confirmed your word, O Lord, again and again saying that there is no other God besides you, for you alone are a just God and our Saviour, according to Isaiah 45 verse 21. You say that the nations weigh silver and gold on the scales. They hire a goldsmith and he makes it a God. They prostrate themselves. Yes, they worship these gods. They bear it on their shoulders. They carry it and set it in its place, and it stands from its place, it shall not move. And though one cries out to it, yet it cannot answer nor save them out of their troubles, according to Isaiah 46, verses 6 to 8. I know that you alone are our refuge, O Lord, and you desire us and and, and deliver us out of all of our troubles, and you are our very present help in times of need. We know that you hear us, you hear our cry as we cry out to you, and you promise that you shall deliver the needy when that one cries. Lord, when we call out to you, you shall answer, even while, Lord, that we are still speaking, you will hear, O Lord. Yes, it is not us who should carry you, but you carry us. You carry our sicknesses, our sin and our sorrows, even to our gray hairs. You will carry us and you know every hair within our head. Yes, Lord, you will indeed carry and deliver us this day. Lord, we pray that you would bless each person today. Lord, as we bless your holy name and glorify your son, Jesus Christ, as our Lord and our master. Father, we come to you today in the name of your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who paid the price on the cross. Yes, and shed his blood for us. We confess, Lord, if there is any being by any chance or any involvement in the deception and any false doctrine of new age, any false doctrine of Eastern religions, any false doctrine of Hinduism. Lord, we admit 
that the idolatry is an abomination within your sight. And we ask you to forgive us and our family for being involved in the sin of idolatry today in any other form in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we renounce any Hindu scripture that is contrary to your holy word, O Lord Jesus Christ. Anything, Lord, that is contrary to you, we ask today that it will be ripped from our memories in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for your forgiveness for having believed and obeyed any of these false scriptures. We also ask forgiveness for having attended or performed any ungodly sacrifice or rituals. The sacrifices that you require, we know there are a broken spirit and a contrite heart. Oh Lord, today, that is the sacrifice that we offer to you right now, is a broken, broken spirit and a contrite heart that you also say that to do righteousness and justice is more acceptable to you than sacrifice. Therefore, we thank you for the righteousness which, Lord, we have in your Son, Jesus Christ today. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we want to present our bodies to you today as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to you. We reject the false, wicked gods of Hinduism and we turn our back on every single one of them and sever the soul tie with them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we sever it. We sever it from Vishnu. We sever it today from Braham. Lord, we sever it today from Krishna, Indra, uh, Radra. Lord, I pray, Lord, to Shakti. Lord, I pray to Ganesh. Lord, to Hanuman. Lord, I pray to Kali be 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 received and and rejected today in the name of Jesus Christ. We do not receive you. We reject you today in the name of Jesus Christ. We also sever the connection between Shiva and Shakti today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that may be affecting us in any way in Jesus' mighty name. We renounce any other regional gods, any other local gods or any other spirits that are operating within this faith, within this Hinduism. Lord, we turn our back on every single Hindu god and sever any spirit and soul tie with them today in the name of Jesus Christ. And we now declare a divorce with the religion of Hinduism in the spirit world and give back any rings, jewelry, rankings, gifts and abilities which have come and that were were given to us from Satan when we even on our generational line let it be uprooted. We tear up any contracts with Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce Lord today for following any teachings of Hinduism along with any other philosophies or doctrines. Hinduism being a philosophy and a confession of faith, Hinduism being a path of mystical insights, any reincarnation teachings that are based for eternal salvation or nirvana or any of these things, all consequences of chakras or positions of lotus flower or whirling wheel today. Lord, we cut ourselves loose from this wheel having been connected to the spinal column of any person today at any of those several points today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray today we renounce the sacred, the secret doctrines related to yoga and meditation and any concept scriptures or cosmic scriptures today in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce every rainbow color of clairvoyancy and so-called eternal religion being of all encompassing way of living or cultures guiding one through all the cycle of life, death and rebirth or any of these teachings. Remove it today. We renounce it in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we renounce each and every one of these things in the name of Jesus Christ. We claim back what is ours today and tear up any contracts with Satan. We also sever ourselves from any 
country having its roots in Hinduism. Those within India, Asia, Africa and the West Indies in the whole of Caribbean as well as the present day Hindus in Europe and in the West and whatever religions or new age teachings that has come across our paths in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce all and any connection to Hinduism in the name of Jesus Christ and we take back what is ours and we tear up any contracts with Satan or any Hindu religions or New Age practices or Eastern religion in the name of Jesus Christ. We cut ourselves free today from the Hindu, Lord, a triune of the Brahma, the Creator of Vishnu the maintainer or preserver and Shiva the destroyer or transformer in the name of Jesus Christ we also renounce any manifestation of Vishnu Lord anything connected to the fish the tortoise the bear the lion the dwarf the Rama with an axe the prince the avatar Lord we pray today in the name of Jesus Christ we confess that Jesus Christ is the only word and the only God who was with the word that was with God and is himself God who became flesh and dwelt among us as the son of God we thank you father we thank you Yahweh the only living God we renounce any and any other ungodly incarnation or manifestation Lord, we turn our backs today on any Hindu God and walk away from any ungodly altar today. Father, we ask that, Lord, today, Lord, that you would consume any altar with the fire of God right now and cast down and destroy any idol that has been worshipped or within our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We know, Jesus, that you are the only truth and the way and the life. And we ask you to forgive us and our family for having given any honour or worship to idols and confess it as being an abomination today in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we now sever any soul tie with any Hindu priest, with any Hindu hermit or any yogi and confess this religion to be a lie and a deception in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, we sever from the spirit of heresy and deception right now. We renounce Brahman, the supreme God who rules the world according to their religion today in the name of Jesus Christ and turn our backs on any other God and we take back our territory from Satan when he will ask you to close and to seal any doors with the precious blood of your son Jesus Christ right now. We renounce any idols that have been worshipped by those of our forefathers of Hinduism, knowingly or unknowingly. Lord, any, any, any type of idol that has even been worshipped from us also in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we renounce any animal or human sacrifices that were done Lord, of knowingly or unknowingly by our forefathers in the name of Jesus Christ, anything on our bloodline, Lord, any involvement in such practices, we renounce it today in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask you now to silence any innocent blood calling out against us with the blood of Jesus Christ on account of the victory of Jesus on the cross. We ask you right now to cleanse us of any blood that might be on our hands and set us free this day in the name of Jesus Christ. We also ask for forgiveness of any incisions or any burns or any wounds inflicted upon ourselves or our family line in order to please these gods. Would you now, Lord, we pray and ask that you will remove, heal any physical or spiritual wounds By the blood of Jesus Christ right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, we also ask for forgiveness for taking part in any holy days in honour of Hindu gods, especially as we are creeping up and coming up to this festival of lights, as well as any rituals, sacrifices, or any acts of worship. We renounce and turn our back on them and now walk away from any ungodly altar today. We renounce any holy days, Lord, within our lifetime that we have participated of, anything to do with the temple festival, anything to do with any holy festival, 
Saul, anything to do with the Desesra or Diwali, Lord, or any of these other festivals of any of that I have not mentioned today in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for forgiveness for and turn our backs on all rituals related to the family, any rituals related to birth or initiations or weddings and death any daily rituals such as washing and dressing the household gods feeding them burning incense and daily rituals of worship lord i pray for anything that we've been forced to partake of in the com- Compulsory also division of caste according to Hinduism in the name of Jesus Christ. We also pray today and renounce the four degrees of spiritual achievement in practicing Hinduism. We renounce all phases leading to demana in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we renounce, Lord, of wearing of any type of holy thread across our left shoulder or underneath our right arm. Lord, we pray today in the name of Jesus Christ, we renounce it. Any wedding rites being performed in order to ensure the safe passage of the dead, we renounce it today in the name of Jesus Christ. Knowingly or unknowingly by our generations, any funeral rites being performed to ensure the dead's passing onto a new body. Lord, we renounce it all today and ask for forgiveness today in the name of Jesus Christ. Any forefathers involved with burning Hindu women alive, Lord, along with their dead husbands in order to ensure the salvation of them both, Lord, we renounce that today and ask for your forgiveness in the name of Jesus Christ. The marking of the forehead, Lord, with the ticker in the place of the third eye, we renounce it today in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, we renounce all of the following practices and declare them to be a deception and a lie in the name of Jesus Christ. Any form of uh, acupuncture, insertion of needles at any certain nerve ends, we renounce them today in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce today any, any Taoism, or anything of original source of acupuncture, we cut ourselves loose from any such roots and we ask you to let them shrivel up and burn and be consumed by fire. We renounce any such roots of Taoism and declare that there is a personal God and that God our Father and Jesus His Son, we thank you Lord that we will we will uh, rest in your arms and we thank you Lord Jesus as we renounce any chi or cosmic spirit and declare any doctrine of any of this new age, Lord, render it powerless this day and renounce it in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that God is Yahweh, is the one who created and sustains the whole earth. Lord, I pray today, Heavenly Father, we ask you to forgive us and our family for having practice reflex reflexology or any type of acupuncture or any type of these things or healing power from Hindu gods and goddesses and we reject being able to cure ourselves by means of any other things or any other gods because we know that there is only you and Jesus Christ we confess him as our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ we confess that Jesus took our grief and sorrow upon him on the cross. Yes, that we could be healed. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we renounce any of the following things that have taken place or any participation of any things in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce and resist any Eastern spirits, any evil forces and demons related to any of the type of things in Hinduism in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we renounce any form of Taoism and acupuncture rooted in astrology and these theories regarding the micro and the macrism. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we sever from our family and ourselves of any divining spirits as well from astrology in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce any teaching of man, Lord, that is not being made. Lord, anything that is not being of you, let it be removed from us today in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare today that you are God. Yes, and we pray and we renounce 
Lord, that any demonic deception and heresy and lies, Lord, we renounce it today from the teachings of Hinduism today in the name of Jesus Christ. We renounce any phases of yoga or controlling the body of the subconscious or controlling the subconscious. Lord, or, or, of blood circulation or mastering of any natural forces, mastering of any black arts or sorcery on our family line. We renounce it today. We renounce any form of biofeedback. Lord, anything at all, anything to do with uh, mantras or breathing techniques, mind control, Lord, self-hypnotize, Lord, any, uh, any type of activity that is requiring any form of clairvoyance, yoga, fitness, anything, Lord, any astro projection, we renounce it on our family line, we renounce it, what we have participated today, Lord, that you would forgive us, you would forgive our families for any involvement in any of these sings in the name of Jesus Christ. We now turn our back from these works of Satan and we claim back our territory and we tear up any contracts with Satan. And Lord, we just pray today and decommission any gatekeepers today in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every devil, you will stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ. I command you to manifest yourself. You will come and stand to the attention of our Lord Jesus Christ. You will manifest yourself and come out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. You will come out of them in the name of Jesus Christ as they have decided to walk away from any Hindu idols, doctrines, altars, rituals and practices and surrender themselves completely to your Lordship. Lord, today in the name of Jesus Christ and today we make this declaration. Lord, I bind every spirit that is coming against them, that is coming against them. Right now, you will come out of them and go back to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as each person submits to you, submits to you today, submits to you today, and the devil shall flee from them in the name of Jesus Christ. As we choose to trust in you, And Lord, that you would be our personal savior. Protect each person from any retaliation. Let the blood of Jesus cover each person listening to this prayer. For the blood of Jesus speaks better things. Cover your people, touch them and surround them with your love. Fill any void right now where any spirit has left them. Fill them with your love, with your joy, with your peace right now. Come and touch them. Come and bring divine healing that only comes from you. Lord, remove any false teaching, anything from their memory, anything they have participated of. The blood of Jesus is speaking better things. They are forgiven. I pray, Lord, for your blessing to be upon your people from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Come and touch them right now. Come and touch them right now. Come and touch them and fill them with your glory right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrowpath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also uh, follow us on Facebook or Instagram. You can also uh, go to our new Telegram, our Telegram page. There's a new Telegram page. I've posted up the link that you need to click on. Now, if you don't have Telegram app, you need to upload that app onto your phone first. Uh, I believe, and then you click onto the link and it takes you directly to it. So if you're wondering why it disappears, because you need to upload that app of Telegram. And I'll be able to send uh, information just in case there is some type of meltdown or they take down all these Christian um, you know, things, because that's inevitably going to happen. You, we can stay in contact. So may the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May his face shine upon you. And may he give you rest. May he give you peace. It only comes from his shalom, his peace. God's peace is good. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.